Hi, I'm Lynn Lucas, CMO at Cohesity, and I am here in the AWS studios with Francesca Vasquez. Francesca, it's so great to see you again. Thank you for hosting me here. We are so delighted to have you at our Cohesity Catalyst Conference, and I'd love for you to tell the audience a little bit about your role at AWS and all of the good things that you and your team are doing. Yeah, so I'd be happy to, Lynn, and thank you. Thank the entire Cohesity team. It is such an honor to be here at the Cohesity Catalyst Conference here in 2023. Um, I'm Francesca Vasquez. I am very fortunate to lead our technology and customer experience organization for Amazon Web Services. My team and I support hundreds of thousands of customers across all of our four major geographies across the globe, and that ranges from startups to independent software vendors to enterprises to private equity organizations. And our focus is pretty simple. We are really here to help customers understand how to use AWS, how to have a good experience with our variety of services, and then ultimately how to generate value. Well, such important work and clearly very successful. AWS has customers of all sizes and customers around the globe, and we're delighted that we have so many joint customers together. We'll talk more about that. And one of the things you and I met uh, last year, and part of that is around our collaboration around uh, data security, data management, and what we're doing with AWS and on the AWS platform. Mm -hmm. And that's an area, this data security and data management area that your CEO, Adam Solipsky, talked about in his keynote last year at reInvent. I was there, Cohesity was there. And this ability to store, analyze, secure data is so critical for all businesses, I think of all sizes. Um, with all of your work with customers, how do you see this space expanding and changing over the next five years around data management? You know, the way that we think about it um, is very simple. I think for us, when we're working with customers and partners such as Cohesity, we're really trying to get to a state where we can help these organizations figure out how to modernize their information, um, how to unify that information, because data sprawl now is, again, quite pervasive on many platforms. Huge problem for some. Yeah, and then how to really think about the, the overall innovation of that information uh, and, and governance. And so a few things that you know, AWS in partnership with, with organizations like yours, what we're trying to do is to make it easier to mm -hmm. just store information on a variety of different platforms, uh, really be able to provide more secure measures of that information, and then be able to build more insights and uh, leveraging tools like AI and machine learning. One of the great things that Adam talked about in that keynote, we also see data being able to be innovated through platforms like serverless. And so one of the things you're gonna see from us is we're gonna to continue to have information and all the governance around information being developed in a way that's serverless, it's automated, making it easier for users to consume and enterprises to deploy and secure. And we're hopefully, we'll get to a state where that will also be powered by machine learning and AI. So we're very excited about the future huge number of themes that I feel uh, we have in common here and that we hear. And, you know, our partnership with AWS goes back to 2020. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a few minutes, but this sprawl, the concern CIOs and their organizations have about knowing what they have and managing it in a single platform and then securing it. So let's turn to that topic. A lot of the theme of our conference is around how to advance uh, data security, especially important because of what you said, which is it's no longer confined you know, within the perimeter of a data center anymore. It's, yes, there's a data center, but now it's in the AWS cloud, and it's also in maybe all these edge sites. So in your experience with CIOs and customers, what are they telling you that they need from a security point of view? How is that coming up in these conversations? Yes, well, there was you know, once upon a time where 
organizations, whether you're CIO or chief information security officer, where companies felt like they had to make a trade-off between speed and security. Mm -hmm. And now that's table stakes. You actually have to be able to do both as an organization. And so from our perspective, we're seeing many customers actually move more of their workloads and applications to the cloud as a way to actually strengthen their security posture. And so we very much want to lean into that. The other very real thing that we've seen over the last three years is that Cyber is becoming um, even more of a C-suite and board discussion for a lot of organizations. If you look over the last uh, three years, we've seen just more fraud cases jump by nearly 71% by various analyst reports. We've seen ransomware increase by nearly 40% year over year. And then you all know this very well. I mean, you just think about ransomware. There's an attack uh, every 20 seconds that we see happening. And... That's a very re that's a very real statistics and data for companies all over the globe. Yeah, and that is so true and such a challenge for uh, our audience and for so many around the globe. The threat of cybercrime, ransomware being one of the highest ones. And that's one of the great things that we have done with AWS is create these new capabilities together like the Fort Knox on the AWS platform, which gives the ability to keep that secure as a, as a service cyber vault that allows an organization to have another copy just in case that they can retrieve quickly. And that's what I wanted to hit on because it's not an or. I need the speed and the security. Um, What's your view? From AWS's view, Francesca, what have you seen in terms of our partnership and uh, where it's come from and, and where should we be going? Yes. Well, first off, thank you, because I think the partnership uh, has been phenomenal to date, and yet we still feel that it's very early days. I think one of the things we're most proud about is we have a shared value with Cohesity, and that shared value is both of our organizations believe that protecting and securing information is a top priority in our mission. So I, I love that and how we share. I think there are a number of just great opportunities that we can continue to partner on. You know, when I think back, you know, one of the great customers that we've had an opportunity to work with is Beckman Calter. Yes. Um, they're a medical diagnostics firm that, you know, several years ago was challenged with this information data sprawl. They were backing up information in all different locations and were really trying to find a way to drive seamless integration, security, you know, governance, and, and an overall data management strategy. And so they leveraged Cohesity, you know, on that journey. And then Cohesity was able to unify a lot of that information by having it running in the AWS cloud. And so I think more examples like that. Uh, AutoNation is another company that Great. we've been able to Joint partner customer, with. Yeah. Yes. And so I think these are the types of areas where there is a very strong better together story in our solution. We've been very honored to help participate in uh, the, the launch of solutions like Data Protect. You already mentioned Fort Knox, um, Data Hawk. And so we just, we, we value the partnership. You know, our job is to ensure that we're creating the right platform with the right global infrastructure and capabilities to allow your very important data uh, management protection solution to really allow customers to scale to be secure and to be innovative um, over time. So I say it's early days, Lynn. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> I think so too. I do think it's early days. And you, you know, uh, wrapping here, right? Yes, I think scale, security, and also simplicity. Yes. And I think AWS and Cohesity, we've both valued that and another shared value of listening to our customers, taking that feedback working together and continually both improving and also innovating together in this incredible area. Because there's nothing right now uh, that businesses other than their talent really rely on is data and securing, managing and getting more out of their data couldn't be more critical. 
So Francesca, I want to follow up on uh, this customer pain points that we've been talking about. One of the areas that I hear and read about is the talent gap in this area of security, as well as the need for more diversity. Um, what are you hearing from customers on this point? Yes, I love this question. And let me just tell you that, you know, in all those pain points we talked about earlier, um, I can't think of a single organization that's not thinking about their talent and looking at their diversity strategies as a way to enhance their customer experience. You know, for us, if you just look at the industry, um, there is a growing demand for cybersecurity you know, data protection uh, professionals in the organization. And since 2021, I think it was recorded that there are about 5 million cybersecurity professionals. And then there's a demand over the next two years for another two and a half million. Which is enormous. Which is enormous. And so I think that we as leaders uh, in the industry have a unique opportunity to not only help inject and infuse more cloud skills and security skills and data skills because the demand is so huge. At the same time, I think we should be looking at initiatives that will also attract more people into the space. Uh, gender diversity, um, ethnic diversity, you know, racial diversity. I think this is an opportunity. And I think companies like Cohesity, AWS, and many others that are here particip participating in Catalyst can really have a meaningful impact. At AWS, one of the things that we're doing, Lynn, that we're very excited about is we set a very ambitious goal. Mm -hmm. We want to train 29 million people yeah. in cloud-related technology skills over the next five years. And that's enormous. It's enormous, but I think you have to have those types of big, bold ideas to really have an impact. And I just couldn't think of a better industry that could really be a pioneer in this space, be a catalyst of change. Can I use that you term? You can, yes. I love okay. it. Yeah. A catalyst for change. And, th and that's so important because it really has to be infused uh, as goals in all of our organizations if we're going to meet this tremendous need. And it's such a core skill as data becomes the currency in organizations for competitive advantage, for positive customer experience, for positive employee experience. Well, Francesca, again, thank you for hosting me here at the AWS studios. It's been such a pleasure to get together in person and have uh, you at our conference, Catalyst. And to our viewers, thank you so much for joining us. More exciting sessions to come. Francesca, looking forward to our next conversation. Likewise, thank you, Lynn.